The local Red Cross is ramping up its efforts to help with Hurricane Matthew relief on the East Coast. SNN's Lyndon Blake was at Red Cross in Sarasota and has more from the staff and volunteers who came across the country to help. The Sun Coast dodged Hurricane Matthew's fury. Now it's the perfect staging area for Red Cross staff and volunteers from around the country to prep for helping the East Coast. Red Cross's Macquarie Van Sickle says 10 local volunteers went to the East Coast Wednesday and more are prepping to go this weekend. We'll have about 36 folks here staged from other parts of the country that will be going probably tomorrow. One of them is Vincent Jacob, a disaster program specialist from New York. He went into Thursday expecting a normal work day until he was told he was being sent to Florida. I ran home, threw some stuff in a bag, said bye to my dog. He missed his first flight, but finally made it to Sarasota late Thursday night. You see so many people coming from all different parts, all different walks uh, here to help. So it's been a great experience so far. There's a way to help locally without leaving home. Van Sickle says the Red Cross needs donations to fund relief efforts across three states. She says cash and check donations are accepted or credit card donations by phone, text message or donating on their website. You know, I think we're all humans and it's a very human response to want to help people. Volunteers and staff don't know how long deployment lasts. Jacob says it could be two or three weeks, but helping a hurting community makes it worth it. Helping people figure you're going to spend your time working, you might as well be doing something good. So you look back on your life and say, hey, you know, the time I spent in the office was, was for something. Reporting in Sarasota County, Lyndon Blake, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And you can visit SNNTV.com for the Red Cross numbers and links needed to donate to the relief fund.